Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Although it isn't quite clear yet, some of the rules have already been set in place for when cannabis becomes legal in Canada. To deter criminal activity the government of Canada is committed to ensuring that there is a legal supply of quality controlled cannabis available for sale when the act comes into force. The provisions for personal cultivation under the proposed act do not preclude law enforcement's ability to take action against illegal producers. Upon coming into force of the Cannabis Act, adults in Canada will be allowed to legally engage in the following activities. Purchase fresh or dried cannabis, cannabis oil, plants and seeds for cultivation from either a provincially or territorially regulated retailer or where this option is not available directly from a federally licensed producer. Possess up to 30 grams of dried legal cannabis or equivalent in public. Share up to 30 grams or equivalent of legal cannabis and legal cannabis products with other adults. Cultivate up to 4 plants in their own residence and alter cannabis at home in order to prepare varying types of cannabis products for personal use provided that no dangerous organic solvents are used in the process. The government has indicated that it intends to add cannabis edible products and cannabis concentrates to the list of products permitted for legal sale following the coming into force of the proposed legislation. Once appropriate regulatory controls are developed, this reasonable limit also allows adults to carry legal cannabis or cannabis products with them when traveling between private dwellings. Upon coming into force adult Canadians would be able to purchase cannabis from a retailer that has been authorized by the province or territory to sell and distribute cannabis. In those provinces or territories that have yet to authorize retailers, Adults would be able to purchase cannabis directly from a federally licensed producer by ordering online with secure delivery at home by mail. The option to cultivate up to four legal cannabis plants per residence, regardless of the number of persons living there has been included under the proposed act after careful consideration. A number of factors were considered including advice provided by the task force, and actions taken in jurisdictions that have regulated the production and sale of cannabis such as Colorado and Washington State. Adults would not be able to transfer or designate this for plant limit. Under the proposed Cannabis Act, there would be no inherent barriers to transporting cannabis between provinces and territories. However the individual must respect the minimum age for cannabis possession in the province or territory that they are in. Health Canada is currently evaluating a number of approaches that could be used to effectively manage the concentration of THC in various cannabis products. This evaluation includes reviewing the requirements that are in place now under the current regulations for production of cannabis for medical purposes as well as work that has been done in jurisdictions that have regulated the production and sale of cannabis, and that THC amounts be clearly stated on product labels so consumers will have clear information to make decisions about consumption and the risks they are taking. In assessing applications for production licenses, the Government of Canada may consider a number of factors to protect the health and safety of Canadians. These factors could include whether the applicant has a history of criminal activity. It is the government's clear objective to protect against the infiltration of the legal supply chain by organized crime. An individual who receives a ticket from a law enforcement officer for public possession of between 30 grams and 50 grams of legal cannabis would not face a criminal record providing the individual pays the assessed fine within the prescribed time period. This is comparable to receiving a traffic infraction. In BC this will be up to three months in prison with a $5,000 fine double that for a second offense. 
Under this legislation, the federal oversight for hemp will be moved from the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act to the new Cannabis Act. Provincial, territorial and municipal governments will be allowed to set further restrictions on personal cultivation and any of the act beyond what is outlined in the proposed. BC cannabis laws are already set forth. Will Alberta follow the same legislation as them? Public intoxication with cannabis will be up to three months in prison and a $5,000 fine. For a second offense it is double that. Officers can arrest without a warrant on suspicion of intoxication. Charges can be laid after a trained drug recognition or RCMP officer decides you are intoxicated. No breath or blood test is necessary. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.